My name is Daniel Tech, and I am a political communication major. I chose Emerson because I was looking for a VMA school, and after doing that for about a year, I realized that that wasn't uh, that wasn't for me. So I started to, to explore other options at Emerson, and I fell into the polit political communication major, and that's been a great path ever since. I've always been very interested in politics, and I've been interested in taking a career that goes in the direction of communication, advocacy, uh, work in government, and political communication uh, seem to be the right path to, for the, the sorts of things that I wanted to pursue. I've had some pretty interesting opportunities to take unique courses that get behind the scenes um, in the political world. I've had a number of classes so far that have focused on gubernatorial or presidential campaigns. So we've had an opportunity to really go behind the scenes and how a uh, high-profile political campaign is run. So everything from what the different roles on the campaign are, the campaign manager, the political director, the finance director, to what different strategies are pursued in terms of dealing with the media, in terms of crafting a message and putting that message forward to the public, and then electoral strategy, um, and, and having several classes that focus on that and build off one another has been a really beneficial experience. I think a lot of Emerson's courses um, have a, a common thread, which is a focus on communicating a, a message that resonates with uh, whoever the constituency is that you're trying to reach. So from a political perspective uh, and the perspective of running a campaign, you're trying to present a message that's going to resonate with the public. Those skills are skills that are very applicable to a lot of what is going on at the highest levels of, of policy making in this country. I was doing the DC semester, which is one of Emerson's external programs. I was interning at the White House, so I got to walk into the White House just about every day. I got to walk past and interact with a lot of very high profile uh, policymakers. I got to see uh, communication and politics intersect in a way that was very behind the scenes. Um, I got to see the president, I got to see the vice president, I got to see the first lady, I got a hug from the first lady actually. Um, so that was a, a pretty wonderful experience. No matter what your area of interest, there's definitely an internship in DC that is connected to politics that speaks to that interest. You know, DC is effectively run by, I mean, you've got, you've got your policymakers, but like everybody else in DC are young people. All of the staffers on the Hill, all of the staffers in the government agencies, a lot of the people who are working in the nonprofit and advocacy um, groups in DC, they're all young people. It's a town that's definitely saturated with young, interesting, motivated people who are doing important work. And it's a great, it's a great world to be a part of. I see um, politics and government as a way to help people, and I think a lot of courses at Emerson reinforce that understanding of of how our political system works, how it can be used to advocate for important causes and issues to further the interests of perhaps uh, underrepresented or disenfranchised groups. I would love to be involved with campaign work. I am considering a number of different options for when I graduate either campaign work or going to a government agency and working in communication. I think I've developed my own communication skills immensely. I think I've developed my understanding of messaging, the relationship between policy makers and the media. I think now the, the perspective that I take to politics is very different. It's reading a news article and thinking how those quotes got into that news article or why the, the journalist chose to write it in this way or what they chose to focus on or listening to a speech and thinking, oh, there's the sound bite. There's the soundbite. This portion of the speech was crafted to speak to this audience, and this portion of the speech was crafted to speak to this other audience. And here's why it's organized like this, and here are the rhetorical appeals that they're using. Political communication is a lens through which you look at politics, and you see it in a very different way than if you were just a, a lay observer.